So today I'm doing my house tour. A lot of you guys have been asking for this. You've had kind of sneak peeks of each room from like morning routines, night routines and Instagram story. If you didn't know, I used to live in an apartment and I recently moved here. Actually, it's almost been a year. I moved here in May. So yeah, this is my hallway. The first time into the house. I've got dark blue walls here. You'll see there's a kind of common theme through my house. There's a lot of blue and also all my little plug sockets and light switches are badly spray painted gold. I should probably just buy some. The next thing I have here is my coat rack. I've got these um, like ballerina shoes. These are just for show. I don't actually wear these. My trench coat, car keys, one glove, a hat and a Christmas decoration. And then here is the front. I don't call it a front room. Here's the lounge. So let's go in here. So this is my lounge. I live in a terrace house if you didn't know. So the rooms are kind of Actually, I wouldn't say they're small rooms. They're like moderately sized, I guess, but obviously if you live in like a semi-detached house, you usually have bigger rooms, but this isn't a small house, really. Um, so this is the lounge. I'm not the biggest fan of the flooring. It's kind of like orange, but I've kind of hit most most it up with a little pink rug that my nan gave me. Um, on the wall here, I have some prints. These are all from Desenio. So on the wall here, I have some prints from Desenio, and these all have rose gold frames. Looking back, I wish I'd got gold frames because I have more gold in my house than rose gold, so it would have matched better, but whatever, it's fine. You can get a discount on these. So if you want to purchase any of the prints that I have in my house, I have a lot from Desenio. You can use the discount code Victoria under one, you'll get 25% off your purchase. But I just have these in like a line coming down. It kind of like fades from the most blue to like lighter blues and then black. I don't know if you can even tell that. And then here I have this bookshelf. You guys will probably recognize this from my old apartment. So you'll recognize this from my old apartment. I have that in there too. I just have some books and little, um, is this like a salt rock? Tea light holder, I think. A little lip balm, an old Ilford camera that I need to get the film developed on because Chuck likes playing with that. I have a little sign that says, well, it's just a letter Z, as you can see. My friend Ellie got that for me for Christmas. And then this little owl that I got from TK Maxx for Christmas. But I just really like it, so I've left it up. A little Buddha statue, some candles, and then just like bits and bobs towards the bottom. Down here is a little bit messy because I've just got like cables and stuff. But I also keep my bag there. So here I have my TV mounted. If you guys have followed my Instagram story, then you'll know that it used to be on that little shelf down there. There. <laughs> So, I've got little um, holes on my TV, I should probably buy a new one because I had pillar candles underneath here and they were about this big so I didn't think the heat was going to get up but it did. Um, so now I've got holes in my TV but it still works, you can't even tell. And then I have a sandbar here because I love to annoy my neighbours. Um, I have a real fireplace here but um, don't look at it too much because there's all dust and gross stuff there so you don't want to see it. And a cactus and a little like fireplace thing off my hand and then here I've got a little like I don't even know what this is like it's the corner with like a built-in kind of thing these are cupboards that you can open but there's just like wires and like old tv boxes and um this proves how lazy I am just like a chocolate wrapper that I couldn't be bothered to put in the bin so I just push it through one of the slats don't be like me <laughs> so here I have this box full of um like just stuff. There's like a candle in there, a thing from McDonald's, my passport, but as you can see it looks really ugly without this blanket on it, so this just kind of makes it look like a blanket box and it just covers it up. So if you have a really ugly wire thing, just put it in a crate and put a blanket over it, it looks better. And then I also have this blue hydrangea plant because, well one, my nan loves blue hydrangeas and two, Lana, so yeah. And then I have this little bowl here, which is full of like crystals and stuff like that because um, I'm a spiritual AF. And then I have my window here. Uh, these are kind of ugly, these curtains, but they're already here and they fit like the like angle thing, so whatever. Then I have this lamp, which I didn't used to like, but now that I've paid more attention to it, I feel like it's kind of like art deco, kind of. It's got like this lamp looks like smoke has been blown into it. I don't know if that's actually what they've done, but it's got like a smoke pattern in it and then like a gold brass thing. And then I have my subwoofer like hidden kind of here. And then I have these, um, these sofas are the most annoying things ever because 
the backs dip underneath the seat and then you have to lift it and squish it. But these are vintage Chesterfield sofas because, you know, I'm trendy and like hipster and all that stuff. And then here I have this little um, pug statue with a broken crown because it fell off. I should probably get a new one with And then I have the remote for my soundbar, a little notebook. You can get 20% um, off anything from Coconut Line with the discount code Victoria, I think. Victoria20, check the description. And then I have a little hand cream because my hands are always dry and gross. And then this little flower arrangement. This is all from Ikea. Apparently you can get cheap flowers from Ikea if you go to like a market, so do that. But it looks really nice and I can't keep things alive, so there's that. And then I have another one of these stupid sofas that you have to lift up and stuff back in. And then on there I have these like fake sheep wool pillows. Uh, they're kind of raggedy now because I've been through the wash. Don't do that. Um, I will buy some more but they're kind of expensive so not just yet. And then I have my coffee table and rug. The rug was off my nan. It's like a um, it's like a shimmery pink, like a pearly pink thread that's been weaved through it so it's really nice. And I love the colour of it. When my nan had it, I was like, you need to give that to me if you ever get rid of it. And then the coffee table is just the one that everybody has from Ikea. This can come off and make this like a plain rectangle, or you can have this. I really like it because if you're sitting eating food, you can take this off and bring it closer to you. Okay, so on here I have a little Buddha statue with some rocks from Lanzarote. These are actually off a volcano in Lanzarote. We bought this one and I stole that one. The man said, don't take any rocks. And I was like, fuck that. And I took it. I was like seven, so it's fine. Well, stealing's not fine. Don't do that. And then I have one of my favorite candles on here. I really love these because they're like really strong scented and they last so long. And I've got a subscription package. I do these like monthly subscription things and it's like really inexpensive how good they are. So that's why I've got so many of them all the way around my house. So then I have some tissues here. I have loads of tissues all the way around my house. I just I feel like grown-ups need them, so I bought them. My nans are always have them. Um, and then I have a little telephone thing, which is like a old one, and it does actually work um, if you plug the. It's got the little telephone. Oh, it's the one. The little telephone port, so it does actually work. And I got that from Aldi. So many of you guys ask me. Um, and then underneath here I have a typewriter. That isn't even. My TV remotes, another crystal, the Khloe Kardashian book, and a notebook that's stolen. Okay, so that was the lounge, and now I'm going to show you into the dining room, which is just this way. Okay, so this is the dining room. Um, pretty self-explanatory. This is a really nice space. I've recently had the flooring fitted in here. This room has pretty much only just been finished. It's the room that I've been waiting for to film the house tour. Um, so as you can see, I just have a huge dining table in the middle. I was gonna kind of have this room focused around different things, like we're gonna get a piano in here and stuff like that. But I hosted Christmas last year and I'm probably gonna be hosting it again this year. So I just wanted it to be able to be like a more functional dining room, less space in here to have like a kid's table. If I put a little table up here with some chairs, which is really good if you have any events. So my dining table, I'm not too sure where it's from, but I absolutely love the benches. I had my heart set on it, but I will link something similar in the description. I got this secondhand and it was an absolute steal. I think I got it for like 150 pounds maybe, around that like 100 or 150. And I think it is from John Lewis. I'm pretty sure I have that in my head. And then these rugs down here, it's actually two. I don't know if you guys tell, but there's a little join here. I got them both off eBay. They were only £20 each, and I really wanted a blue and white rug. And I've been looking for them, and they're all so expensive, so I found these, so I'm so happy. And then I just have a vase of flowers on the table. I have a lot of flowers and plants around my whole house that you'll see when we go around. Um, so let's focus here. Here I have um, a little, what do you call this, like a spotlight lamp from Ikea. And then I have this vintage drinks cart, like a bar cart type thing. Ooh. Inside is like an absolute mess, but it's not meant to be storing like hot glue guns and newspapers and stuff. All around here you can have like all your cocktail mixes and like glasses and stuff like that, so it is really practical. And like your stirrers and stuff like that. 
And then at the bottom it's got spaces for all your drinks and stuff like that. I don't have too many because I'm not the biggest drinker in the world. Um, and then I have this really big mirror. This is like an Italian mirror that I got secondhand again. I'm not too sure how much it was, but it's really nice and it was exactly what I was looking for for this space. I smashed like three mirrors before this one because I don't even know why, I just, they just got smashed. So here I have this little kind of window seat area that I've made. Here is actually like a little shelf, you'd like lift it up there so you can put stuff in there. But I just got a rug, one of those like sheep skin, not sheep skin, sheep hair looking ones. I got this from Margos, it was like £20 and that made like the base and then I just popped two pillows on there. It's not the most practical thing really, like you can kind of sit on it. If you like put the pillows down you can sit all the way back. Chuck loves sitting on this, he can sit the full like length, he sits like this with his legs up because he's tiny and he loves it up here. It's really comfy for him, he like lies this one down and puts his back up. So I think it's kind of added to the room, I was unsure of what to do here. I wanted to put shelves but obviously the wallpaper is bookshelf so I thought it would look a little bit silly. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. <sighs> so on my windowsill I just have this plant that I'm trying to resuscitate I guess. Um, I killed it but it's kind of coming back, like the leaves look really green and they look quite like succulent, is that, is that a word for a leaf? I think so. Like they look like plumper and less crispy than they did so. And then I have another box of tissues because again, grown ups seem to have tissues. Another one of my favourite candles and another plant that my mom has literally had since before I was born. I don't know how this thing's still alive. It used to feel like cement in the bottom of there, it was bad. So this is one of my favourite rooms in the entire house, which is a little bit lame because it's a kitchen, but it looks really nice. Um, I think this is like the, the best decorated room. I get they're all nice, but I really like this room. I love how it's all turned out. And also I did this on a huge budget. Like I got this flooring for free off my friend because they'd just done their house and they had like scraps. Um, I think I'm gonna get it redone, but for now it's fine. Come back. Um, I painted all of the cupboards white with gloss and then spray painted all of the knobs to make them gold. And then all of this worktop is like, um, what's it called? DC Fix, I think, which is like this sticky paper that you can use on walls, tables, anything like that. It's really good for desks. If you want a marble desk, but marble desks are really expensive, you can just buy some DC Fix. It's like seven pound and it looks really real. I wouldn't think this was a sticker. If someone said this was stickers, I wouldn't really believe them. Then I have my fridge here, the dog's crate down here. So the dog's crate down here, he doesn't stay in it all day, just for night times because otherwise he'll chew. And then I have my bin, some of Chuck's schoolwork, um, a little calendar up here that I got for Christmas. You guys might have seen it. It's a little, um, it's like a cocktail calendar and it gives you all the mixes for each month. And then I've just got loads of Polaroid pictures all the way down my fridge to make it look a little bit better. So on this side of the kitchen, I just have my sink, my little um, draining rack, which I also spray painted. Um, ideally, I wish this was gold, but I don't even know if they do like draining boards and sinks in gold. Then I have my little orange plant that I got from Ikea, another one of those candles that I really like. And also my little herb thing. I'm trying to keep these alive, but I don't really get it because I'm watering them every day and then they start getting a little bit like droopy, so then I leave them for a few days. And I just, I think it's because they're not getting enough sun because of the angle of the houses, but I'm not too sure. And then I have two little cactuses, a little um, chalkboard to-do list. And then I have like a fruit bowl that I mainly put sweets in and some vitamins back there. I'll just turn this on so you can see better. Then I have a little um, jar of pasta because I eat so much pasta. My toaster, a little chopping board, my oven's here. And then I have another little cactus in a mug. My coffee machine there that I don't really use and my kettle. And then I have this little um, French bulldog like um, teaspoon holder. Like when you squeeze a tea bag, you just pop it in there and you don't get your side dirty with the spoon. And then I have my little jars here. These are all from Ikea, if you were wondering. So all the way around my house, I have Senio prints, as I said, and I have some in my kitchen as well. I've got some blue shaded ones, like the sea, and then I've got some like herbs here, which tells you what each of them are, which is actually really handy for me because I can't um, identify what each one is. And then here I just have my, um, just like an extractor fan, I guess, the overhead of the oven, and then my like hob here. And then I've got my microwave, some half dead flowers, and then like olive oil, chili infused olive oil, cocktail cherries, salt, pepper, cookbooks, 
and then some more of Chuck's schoolwork and like um, my dog sitters info and stuff like that. I also completely forgot to mention that I have all of these um, posters, not posters, pictures in here. So the first picture I have is a shot of Manhattan and I've actually been up here, it was really good. And then I have a quote from Carrie Bradshaw because I'm trying to follow the New York theme and you know it's like city. And then I have a map of Manhattan with kind of like thin line drawing which I really like and it's kind of, it's like a New York themed wall. Um, so that's that. And then also these lights are dimmable, these ones up here. This is a new addition to the room, you can have them as bright as you want or as dim as you want. So I usually leave them on bright. And let's go upstairs. Okay, so up my stairs I have all of these fairy lights. I just kind of like tuck them into the banister. Chuck's scared of the toilet, so it's really... Not the toilet, Chuck's scared of the dark. So it's really handy when he's staying over because it kind of guides the path into the bathroom because it's all the way along up here as well. So, let's go in here first. Okay, so this is my bathroom. I really like this bathroom. I've never been in a bathroom this big in somebody's house. I think this was a bedroom and it's been converted into a bathroom because... This isn't a normal size bathroom for me. Um, so on the wall here, I have this painting of Julia, Julia Roberts, did I get her name wrong? Julie Roberts, Julia Roberts. I always get Julie Andrews and Julie, Julia. Pretty woman, I know my shit, but I'm just confused. And Richard Gere, um, I used to have this in my apartment and then I had it downstairs in the lounge, but I thought why better to have it than in the bathroom. So then here I have my sink and my little thingy-mabob. I've got the wrong colour soap dispenser, it doesn't match. I'm an idiot. But this is my sink. It's a little bit low down for me. Does anybody else get backache from like their sink? It's so low. And then I have a little candle holder down here and also my speaker. And I also keep like my hair clips, watches, rings and the dog's um, collar on here as well. But just because it's like easy, you just flip them off. Um, and then I just obviously have my toothbrush, stuff like that. And then I have um, this little, like a vase with like some delicate flowers in. And these two little lanterns with tea light candles in. And then I have my wash basket, toilet, bin, candles. Um, and then I have this little shelf thingy. I kind of wanted this to be a little bit more organized. Um, so I have like my soap and glory stuff, L'Oreal stuff. This stuff, if you've got sensitive skin, use this. There's like no um, like added shit to it, so it won't irritate your skin. It's my absolute favorite. And then I've got my Lee Stafford um, shampoo and conditioner, some bath oil and some face wash and some more tea lights. And then I just have some tissues on the back of the toilet. This is my shower, I should probably clean it, but again, I'm lazy. And I also have a really nice bath. I'm not gonna show you right now, I'll show you when it's all like night time and cozy. You'll see it on the overlay. It's really big, so. I like it. And that's pretty much it for the bathroom. So this is my second bedroom. It's not finished yet, so I'm not going to show you too much, but I just kind of keep my coats on the back of the door. I have some nice little ornaments on the windowsill, a little uh, shoe holder, a painting that one of my lovely subscribers did for me, and also my suitcase and my 100k plaque, but it's not finished. When it is finished, I'll show you, but for now, that's it. Okay, so onto the last room. I also have a little cupboard here that I just kind of keep loads of stuff in. I've got a separate mattress in there for when I have guests, my studio lights, loads of boxes, this, that. Okay, and then here is my bedroom, the master bedroom. So this is my bedroom. Again, this is a really big bedroom. I feel like this could be two bedrooms, like a double bedroom and a single bedroom if you split it. I don't know if it's been like extended or anything like that or if that's just how the house was. But on the wall here, I have some more pictures. I've got pictures of like three different women and I really like these because they kind of all have different vibes. Like this one's like a little dainty ballerina. This one reminds me of myself, like she's half naked on the side eating pasta. I don't know what could be more me. And then this one's all like, oh, I'm sexy and cool, I'm smoking. So they're all really different people, like different personalities. And I just really like the black and white vibe with the frames. They're just cute, everybody likes these. Again, you can get 25% off with the code 
Victoria Underwood. By the way, I don't get anything from this code. You're not going to benefit me. You're just going to get money off for yourself. So I don't get anything from you using it. You just It's a little bonus for you. So here, this is one of my favorite parts of the room. It is my like clothing wrap thing. I really like this because I get to add color into my room with clothes, which I think is really cool because as the seasons change or... Well, yeah, as the seasons change, I can add different colours to kind of match that season. So it's spring at the moment, so I have a lot of light colours, whites, yellows, pinks, light blues. It kind of matches the season we're in. When it gets to winter, I have black, red, blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. And then up here, I have my jeans. I was going to say this is usually folded neatly, but that would be an absolute lie. Um, in my head, this is usually folded neatly, but realistically, it's always a mess. And then here, I have a little stool because, um, well, I don't really know why I thought it'd look nice. If I'm struggling to reach something. I mean, I can, I can reach, I'm not little, but yeah. So on the stool, I have my makeup bags, one for face makeup and one for eye makeup. These are both from Coconut Lane, and again, you can use the discount code Victoria or Victoria20. I can't remember what it was, so I'll put it on screen. You can get some dollar off. So here I have my full-length mirror and some of my shoes that I wear quite often. Um, this this irritates me because this little thing where a fireplace used to be is not on the center of the chimney breast it's off so this always irritates me because then my shoes aren't in the black box but they're in line with the mirror does anybody else have problems like this or is it just me but here's my full length mirror it's from ikea and then i have the ugliest lampshade in the world on, ah, it's hot, on the wall um that's what you get for being mean to people don't do it and then I have my armchair where I sit and read lots of books because I'm that type of woman. And then I have some decorative pillows on it. This armchair is from Ikea. I had a yellow one in my apartment that isn't with us anymore. So on my windowsill I just have two little um, pillow candles, some like bookends but I don't actually read so I don't have enough books to use them for. And then a little fake plant. Um, in a pot from Ikea. Everything's from Ikea. These curtains also, um, I don't like them. I have some really nice like grey velvet ones that would go so well, but nobody can get this curtain rail off because look how close this is to the ceiling. And you have to use a screwdriver like coming down. You're not going to get that off unless you've got little tiny baby hands. So here I have um, a wobbly floorboard so you can make the plant do a little jig if you're feeling like it. And then I just have this um, half dead plant, another one of those candles because I do have an addiction. Um, my bedside tables I got from a really nice Italian furniture store that was like setting, no, shutting down, not setting down, and I got them for a really good deal. I think it was like 120 for both of them or something like that. It was really good. They were marked down from like 500 or something like that. Um, so I have like a single one and then a, like a chest of drawers over there, but on here I just have a cute little lamp with like this huge Bulb. So on this bedside table I have a cute little lamp with like this rock base and then I have um, F. Scott Fitzgerald, The Beautiful and Damned, How to Have a Good Day, 10% Happier and How to Make Love Like a Porn Star because that's my aspirations in life. Um, and then I have this really cool little um, linen mist. This is from Crabtree and Evelyn. I absolutely love this. I'm not even kidding. This knocks me out like chloroform. It's really good. I <laughs> <laughs> Stop. so i put this on my pillow and i'm literally knocked out the second my head hits it it's like a miracle worker and then i have some tissues because who doesn't need tissues next to their bed above my bed i have this really cute little lampshade i really really like this it's from ikea it needs dusting that is really horrible the spider webs all over that okay um, and then on this wall, it's like a huge art wall. I really like this. Above my bed, I just have loads of pictures from Decenio. Again, you can use that same discount code. If you like anything that you're seeing, I'm sure you do. You're about to get money off. So all of these pictures are planned out like there's a purpose to the way they're placed. So I've put the gun next to the ballerina because guns are all like manly and like, you know, like rah, and ballerinas are all like dainty and like little. And then I've kind of put the this here which is like life is about just like living and stuff like that and that woman reminded me of just like 
going for it, like enjoying life. And then I've also got the Dance Like Nobody's Watching painting here. So here I have my other like bedside table, which is like a chest of drawers. I have this bag here from New York when we went to Jack's wife, Free Jack's wife's Frida, the cafe. The food was huge in there, by the way, and I didn't want this just to be like sitting in a drawer. Like I like looking at it. It's like has happy memories associated with it. So I just pop like bits and bobs in there, like paintbrushes, chalk, deodorant, bits like that that I don't want on show. And then I have some more candles here, and also a jug with flowers in. I absolutely love this. I think it's so pretty, and I love the fact that it's in a jug. I just think it's really cute. And that is it for the entire house. So that is everything in my house. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to get any money off the prints in the background, then you can use the discount code that's on screen right now, and it's linked in the description too. And also, if there's any furniture that you liked in my house, I will try and link it. I'll also link these bed sheets because I know a lot of you guys like them. So yeah, that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment telling me what your favourite room is, and I'll see you super soon with a brand new video. Bye!